Miss Nelson Has a Field Day by Harry Allard and James Marshall. For some weeks now, gloom had blanketed the Horace B. Smedley School. No one laughed or threw spitballs. No one even smiled. Miss Nelson was worried. Everyone was down in the dumps. Even the cafeteria ladies had lost their sparkle. Mr. Blandsworth was so depressed he hid under his desk. It's the worst team in the whole state, he said. And it was true. The Smedley tornadoes were just pitiful. They hadn't won a game all year. They hadn't scored even a single point. And lately, they seemed only interested in horsing around and in giving Coach the business. Why practice, they said. We'll only lose anyway. We're in for it now, said old Pop Hansen, the janitor. The big Thanksgiving game is coming up, and the werewolves from Central are real animals. They'll make mincemeat out of our team. What's to be done, said Miss Nelson. We need a real expert, said Pop. That afternoon, while Miss Nelson was grading papers, she heard wild laughter. It was coming from the teacher's lounge. Coach Armstrong had cracked up. I'll make us a fresh pot of coffee, said Miss Nelson. When Coach had calmed down, Miss Nelson took him home in a taxi. You need a nice long rest, she said. The next day, it was announced over the PA that Coach Armstrong would be out for a long time with the measles. Who will take his place? said the kids. When Miss Nelson passed by Lulu's after school, a serious discussion was going on. We need someone who can really get the team into shape for the big Thanksgiving game, said one kid. Someone who knows how to get results. It's too bad Miss Viola Swamp isn't around, said another. Who? said a kid who was new in town. You've never heard of Viola Swamp? said the first kid. The meanest substitute in the whole wide world? She's a real witch. She'd have no trouble getting results. Mr. Blandsworth happened to overhear. Hmm, he said. said Miss Nelson, and she wasted no time getting home. After rummaging around in her closet, she found what she was looking for, an ugly black sweatsuit. Then she made an important phone call. I'll be right there, said the voice at the other end. The next day, Mr. Blandsworth announced that there would be football practice as usual. Whoever it is, said the guys, Let's really give him the business. The doors to Coach's office flew open and out stepped. A lady in an ugly black dress. <clears throat> My name is Viola Swamp, said the lady, and I am here to get results. <laughs> it's Blanswood, Blanswood, cried the guys and they laughed him off the field. Oh, rats, said Blandsworth. How could they tell? Just then, the guys heard the sound of squeaky tennis shoes. I am Coach Swamp, said the lady in the black sweatsuit. Holy, Holy smoke, smoke, cried the team. The, the swamp. swamp! The team's fullback tried to get away. Not so fast, Mr. Smarty, said Coach Swamp. Wow, said one of the guys. Did you see that tackle? Coach Swamp was a real expert. She put the team to work right away. 
The guys had never done so many leg raises. More, said Coach Swamp. They had never run so fast. Faster, yelled Coach Swamp. This is murder, said the guys. Pipe down, said Coach Swamp. In only a matter of days, the Smedley tornadoes were looking better. Coach Swamp really gave them the business. Mr. Blandsworth was a little puzzled, however. Who is that Miss Swamp? he said. Maybe Miss Nelson knows. I'll go ask. Miss Nelson was busy grading papers when Blandsworth looked in. I don't want to disturb her, said Blandsworth. She probably doesn't know anyway. Down on the field, Coach Swamp was having a little talk with the team. And don't ever think you can horse around again, she said, because the Swamp will be watching. When Coach Armstrong returned after his rest, he was very surprised by what he found. The guys played like a real team. How did this happen? said Coach Armstrong. Um, said the guys. On Thanksgiving Day, the tornadoes clobbered the werewolves 77 to 3. It was a great day for the Horace B. Smedley School. Mr. Blandsworth treated the whole team to hot dogs at Lulu's. Miss Nelson went home tired and happy. Sometimes you just have to get tough, she told her sister Barbara. And by the way, thanks for filling in for me. Any time, said Barbara. Any time. Thanks for listening to Miss Nelson has a field day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Anyway, thanks for listening to Miss Nelson Has a Field Day by Harry Allard and James Marshall. And don't forget to check out the description of this story to find out more about me and why I enjoy reading books on YouTube. There's also a link to where you can purchase this story. Support your authors.